Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another S Day video. Today, we're going to look at, and, you know, I guess I would call it ways to have different numbers of coax than you have antennas, either more or fewer. Um, and uh, the first was a very specific question from Joe uh, McManus. Uh, Whiskey Bravo 2, Zulu Delta Bravo. Um, and I'll answer his question first, and then I want to talk in a little bit more general terms about uh, using one coax feed for several antennas uh, and changing those from the shack. And I've got just a couple examples here to show you. Uh, the first one, um, Joe... Now let me take the email off of there. Okay. First of all, Joe asks, uh, Dave, in your an unusual j pole antenna, number 302 episode, you said something about having gotten a coax coupler from MFJ so that you could run two antennas from the same piece of coax. Have you done a video? where I talk about it. No, I, I haven't, uh, and I've been remiss in that because I haven't, I've got this and I haven't installed it yet. Uh, what I want to do is I've got a two meter antenna and a 70 centimeter antenna, and this device will allow them to run over one piece of coax uh, to my uh, dual band radio here, and that'll give me an extra lightning arrestor down there that I can use for another antenna. So that's what I'll do with that. Um, here we go. This is uh, the device. It's the uh, MFJ 916 Bravo duplexer. Okay, so it features um, 1.3 to 225 megahertz and a 350 to 540 megahertz uh, inputs uh, SO239 uh, connections, uh, connect two transceivers to one antenna, or connect two antennas to one transceiver. Let, let's, let's look at how that works. Okay, so I'm going to move this thing out so we get the whole board. Okay, and what we get, let's suppose we have this duplexer. And we have an antenna that's dual band and in this case it would be 70 centimeters and 2 meters okay and then down here we have two radios we have one radio that's uh, 70 centimeters and one radio that's 2 meters okay now, the more common case, you can do this with this, uh, with this device. And the other thing that you can do is to have two antennas, a two meter, and another antenna that's 70 centimeters, which is the condition I have. I have a, a J-pole for uh, two meters, and I have a 70 centimeter attendee begin um, uh, Yagi. And you can bring these into this device like this. And what comes out can go to a radio that's 2 meter slash 70 centimeter. So when it's using 70 centimeters, the energy will go here. If you're using two meters, the energy goes here in the same one receive, okay? This device is called a, uh, well, they call it a duplexer. There's another term out there called a diplexer, and uh, that's used for two meter repeaters. So here's what it looks like. It's not terribly complicated. It's heavy. It's heavy because there's some steel cavities in there that make this work. Okay, so it's an MFJ 916B, 916 Bravo. 
okay and so here's your connector for uh, the uh, one for this is for this is two meters and this is the 70 centimeter connection here okay it's got lots of bandwidth so it can go outside the band a little bit let's look that up see how much it is um, forty dollars thirty nine ninety five forty dollars okay so this could avoid a run of coax just about pay for itself right there uh, pretty amazing little item so this is for uh, two meters um, and you can use this you know use two antennas through one coax which is great for me because I've got all six of my lightning arresters are used I have one lightning arrester that's connected to the 50-foot cable that I use to hook to test antennas and things like that um, and I've only got the one I'd like another this allows me to free up one of those lightning arresters by just having the one coax to handle the UHF VHF which is very nice okay now let me show you the other half of the world okay this is the HF this right here is another MFJ product uh, they have multiples of these different sizes from two on up I picked one with five positions it's a remote switch two hundred and fifty dollars and here's what it looks like now there are um, two parts to this there's this part which goes up now see the way the angle bracket is this will be angled so that the coaxes drop from this and then that's hooked to a tower or whatever so here's the input this is the coax that goes to the shack okay and these go to different antennas and there's five here I think they go up to eight something like that now note this cable that's a separate control cable that needs to go all the way down into the shack to this device here this is the controller and it's got a space up here you can put a sticker or something for which antenna it is because it's antennas one two three four and five so if you push this button then this antenna is connected to that well I guess you do it with this right here and then the buttons light up okay but you get the idea um, so if you turn it to four then that connects to that um, and this will uh, handle um, up to five kilowatts below 30 megahertz um, all metal LEDs scratch proof panel all that sort of stuff that makes it wonderful uh, but this is something where you can use a single cable what people sometimes do when they have large towers that are a ways away from the house they'll run one cable they'll put their money into the best cable possible LMR 400 LMR 600 and so on uh, run one cable up and then use a switch like this to use the uh, cable that they uh, want to use the antenna that they want to use and it works works very nicely I want to introduce a new feature of this channel my study here uh, is filled with books and gadgets I've accumulated from having this channel and it's time to thin the herd so to speak I'm announcing my first giveaway to hams in the USA. The items to be given away this time, uh, the item, one item, is a book, uh, it's a brand new book. Uh, it's called Novel Antennas. It's from the Radio Society of Great Britain. I think I picked it up at Dayton in 2019. Here's how the giveaway works. It's totally free to you. Send a postcard, QSL card, or simple one-page letter by snail mail to P.O. Box 98, Ridgeway, Colorado, 81432. 
on whatever you send, make sure to include the giveaway number. In this case, it's number one, your name and call sign and shipping address. Please include your phone number in case I have questions. Please nothing else, though if you want to send a picture of you and your station, I may be able to show these during the live stream. Electronic submissions will not be accepted. The drawing will take place on the live stream held on Thursday evening U.S. time on August 26th. Um, note that I pay the book shipping here, so it's totally free to you. I hope to do something like this every month. Note that after the drawing, all entries will be discarded and no information will be kept or transcribed. So there you have it. If you would like to help support this channel, you may do so by going to decastlercom support and picking a way that you find most helpful. Please also subscribe and click the bell and click like. Don't forget to comment. Until we next meet, 73.